What is going on, people? Welcome back to RF Gaming or Retell Factor or whatever. Today we are playing Terror Drome Reign of the Legends, which is a brand new game from the folks who made Terror Drome Rise of the Boogeymen, which I am a big fan of. Uh, this game uses all royalty free, no need to license characters. You got Bloody Mary, Frankenstein, the Squatch, Alex Van Helsing. Uh, Neverman, which is clearly a spin on Slenderman, which is actually apparently copywritten. Only five characters to start, and then you can see there's three more coming very soon, I think. And then even more later on down the line. This is very, very early access. And um, I've played for a little bit, dicked around, did some training mode, uh, got the feel for how the game flows. And it's actually very, it feels very similar to the first game. Uh, and all, like, a lot of the, uh, you know, the moves and the inputs and everything, the mechanics, they're very, very similar. So I felt pretty at home kind of getting used to this game. And, yeah, this game is very rough. It's very early. But, man, I love the first game so much. And I've played it, I played the first game so much that, uh, I definitely wanted to send these guys some of my money. <laughs> because I played the shit out of it, and I could never buy that game just because, again... Licensing issues. And uh, this game, like, I'm sure once they update it a bit, I think it's gonna be fucking cool, dude. Damn it. Oh, you got spot dodges? We got him. We got him, boys. Um, yeah, so the first game, we actually played over on Monday Night Fights. I played that game a ton. And, um, yeah, we did it for uh, the Monday Night Fights Halloween episode, which was a ton of fun. It's just, like, all of those 80s, like, horror icon uh, characters mixed with a fighting game. It's just, like, it's like two of my favorite fucking things. It's fucking awesome, dude. Jesus Christ. Oh, he got the escapes? And this game's actually, like, it's quite a bit more ambitious than the first Terradrome. It's actually fully in 3D. Um, though I did really, I really liked the art style of Terradrome 1, Rise of the Boogeyman. Let's see if I can get this cinematic finisher. Look at this, look at this. Woo! So if you use a super to finish off the match, you get like that, what was it called? Death sentence. You get the death sentence, dude. Fist got smashed. And... <laughs> yeah, this game's got a lot of cool mechanics, dude. You can get really creative. You can pretty much special cancel into just about everything. There's EX moves. A um, couple different supers per character. So once this game, like, the roster gets updated, they got, they got a ways to go. Right? Like, Rise of the Boogeyman had a ton of characters, ton of stages, really, like, feature-rich, you know? Um, but they also worked on that game fucking forever, so... I think it was, like, nine years. I think they worked on that game for, like, nine years. Damn it. I fucked up. Oh, we got it! <laughs> we got the meaty grabs. Get out of here, dude. Um, <laughs> Frankenstein's the only character I've tried so far, but he's a lot of fun, man. But dude, Van Helsing, he looks, he looks pretty sick. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. I want to see what the finisher looks like for that. That's like some Blanca electric bullshit. Was the name of his super? I can't remember. 
Oh! He can set up traps! You son of a bitch! He's got like the Johnny Cage fucking... Knees. Oh, I missed my fucking... Too far away? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, he's got the dodges. <gasps> yes. <laughs> the music. He just got fried alive, dude. What happened there, man? The screen like went blank, uh, black. I wonder if it was like because of the wall texture or whatever was in the way. Okay. I'm warning you. We got the squash. This, is gonna hurt. this game's running on you Unity, which is kind of interesting. The game has crashed on me a couple times in the short amount of time I've played. That actually comboed, man. That's pretty fucking crazy. Damn. I was too close to the wall to do the wall bounce. Oh my god! Oh, I missed my fucking... get anything after that? Oh! Watch this. Wake up, DPs! Works every time, dude. 100% of the time. You pressing buttons? Wake up, DPs. Wake up, grabs. Didn't time that very well. Oh my god, he hit me out of the air, straight to a wall bounce. God, we got the dodge on the bird. Well, oh, I think you... Did I just EX cancel? Are there FADCs in this game? My goodness. Did you see that raw spot dodge on the bird? Uh, so every... Uh, so one of the mechanics in this game, it's like... Every um, character has also like a limited use kind of ability um, that'll stun the opponent. I think they all stun the, po the opponent. I just I know that Frankenstein's does. I know what Sasquatch's does. Um, and I think you get like two two uses per round. Fucking bloody Mary, dude! Like that right there. See now she's stunned. <laughs> oh! Holy shit, Bloody Mary's fucking cool, dude. Oh! See? Oh! Oh, shit, dude. Alright. Wasn't the cleanest. Wasn't the prettiest. But we're getting the job done. I think we're playing this on hard mode too, dude. Um, do you know who she reminds me of? Her playstyle a little bit? Um, from the first game, she reminds me of uh, Candyman.
wonder if I can get anything after that. That would be insanity. Oh shit, I did the wrong move. We're dropping combos, boys. Oh, <laughs> get out of the air! Actually, I kind of wanted to get a death sentence on her. Ooh, checking for parts? But we'll take what we can get. Neverman. Again, it was like a spin on. He's like a spin on Slenderman. Apparently, Slenderman is actually copywritten because it's like a. It was like a creepy pasta. So, um. What the hell? His design is pretty fucking cool, though. And so I guess, like, if they actually used Slenderman. Um, oh, dude, I didn't mean to do that. Dude, they even got, like, some of the sound effects. Sounds like, like, uh, Slender of the Eight Pages. Whoa, we got the spot dodges, dude. Oh, damn it. Whoa! Wake up, supers! That's some Xbox Live bullshit, dude. Oh, so bold, this man. What? Did that chip me to death? Is there a chip in this game? I pressed the wrong thing. I like went for a grab there, dude. Damn. Too slow. Beat his fucking super round, dude. Fuck. So ugly, man. It's not, not pretty. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Covers, dude. Is that like some MK11, MKX shit? Oh, okay, the wall bounces, you do not want to do them if you're really close to the wall. Good to know. There it is, boys. Too damaged, but a shame. Congratulations. Yeah, I guess that was all five characters. Damn, that went by quick. We've only been recording for like 14 minutes. <laughs> um, but man, if you really look at the team who is working on this game, it is, uh, it is a small-ass team, dude. Very, very small. So I'm sure they're going to work on the game. I'm sure more things are going to be uh, added later on. But the actual the core gameplay... It's really fun. Like, I actually want to jump into training mode with some of the other characters and try out some other shit. They obviously, they got a long ways to go. Uh, Terradrome Rise of the Boogeyman was, uh... Was, uh... Had a lot of characters. Tons of characters and stuff like that. But they worked on that game for, like, nine years. So... <laughs> they obviously... They obviously, uh... Have a ways to go on this one. But it's fun, man. The core... The core is there. And the core is a good time. And I played Rise of the Boogeyman so much that, you know what, I wanted to support these guys, I wanted to, to buy their new game. 
And, uh, you know, just because I, I got so much enjoyment out of that original title, and I'm sure this game is going to, you know, shape up to be something special. But anyways, that is it, guys. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And uh, maybe we'll try some other characters, and maybe we'll be back with some more Terradrome Reign of All Legends. Uh, thanks again. Peace out.